You're the last one. Complete the mission. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Extreme Lex Calier, and welcome back, my boys, to another video, another recipe, my boys. And today we are going to make something special, my boys. We are going to fill those peppers, bell peppers, my boys. Here we have six colored bell peppers. We are going to fill them up. We have two orange, one yellow, one green, and two red. So those were the peppers that we are going to fill. And we are going to make some delicious gravy. So they will stay in the gravy. We are going to use 12 cans of tuna chunks. My boys. 672 grams of tuna chunks. So those are the tuna. We are going to use 12 unpasteurized goat cheese. My boys, goat cheese. Then we are going to do some olives, 250 grams of black olives with bone and 250 grams of green olives with bone too. Those are the ingredients, they are going inside of the peppers, my boys. We're gonna use some capers, we're gonna crush some capers, homemade capers. Those are the marjoram, the parsley, the basil and the mint. That they are going to make nice pesto, I'm going to make a nice pesto from that with the capers, my boys. And here we have three medium sized onion. Three medium sized onion and 22 cloves of garlic, my boys. So those were all the ingredients. I was going to put on mine, I was going to put the anchovy, but I am not going, my boys. So those were all the ingredients for the filled bell peppers. Now we are going to start making the pesto and cutting the rest. So now my boys, here we have the parsley, the basil, the mint and the marjora. We are going to put it in the blender. We are going to make a pesto for that. Remove that shit away. Now, first we are going to blend these. Then we are going to put four spoons of capers. Four spoons of homemade capers, my boys. So now, first we will blend this. like this now it's time to put our capers this is the homemade capers that we make so I'm going to put uh, 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 let's put a half a jar so it will make that taste And let's make some olive oil. A bit of olive oil, not much. Let's make some olive oil. We're gonna make that, uh, not much, my boys, not much, just that. Just that, that's it, not that much of olive oil. I'm gonna close it. And that on. Five 
we can switch it off and there you have the pesto ready that it will go with all the ingredients and almost at the end now we are going to start by removing the bones from the olives so now my boys is trying to remove our olives from the bone Here we have 250 grams of black olives and 150 grams of green olives that we are going to make to with the tuna and the, the pesto and the rest, my boys. So in total we have 500 grams of olives that we are going to fill in the six peppers. Continue like this until we will finish. Then after this, we will start cutting the onions and the garlic. The onions we will do them fine cut. We are not going to crush them in the blender. And the and the garlic in small small pieces. So we're gonna squeeze the Here it is, so the mm. bone will go up. We're gonna continue until we're done. all the ingredients we are going to put them in a bowl and mix them all up and then fill the peppers and then the peppers we will put them I will show you step by step my boys and we are going to do even mashed potatoes but something different This is the recipe for all three people, by the way. So here we have the 500 grams of olives. Like this, we remove the bones. So my boys, now we're gonna start by cutting the garlic, my boys, in very small pieces. 
because this is going to go like this in the in the recipe in the peppers we are not going to fry them Then we're going to we're going to make them like that and pass. From them like that. So I'm gonna continue. No way, come on. like that the same way actually I'm going to put 20 cloves of garlic this time because it's going like that raw so like this and I'm doing them like this bit by bit so we're gonna make the last few my boys so here we have the 20 cloves of garlic I told you now we are after this we are going to start by cutting the onion fine cut my voice a minute because I will remove this shit and there just five onion, five garlic, Like this, and I crush them like this. We're gonna tie the, the garlic, cloves of garlic. 
so then you have the 20 cloves of garlic diced now we are going to start by cutting the onion in fine cut so here we have the bowl and we are going to mix everything we are going to put our garlic my boys now it's time to start cutting the onion now we are going to start by cutting the onion fine cut like this i'm gonna cut them in the middle first Like this, and remove that like that, like that, and then diced like this. This is called the fine cut onion, as you can see. The other one, so onion, we put three, three medium sized onion. As you can see, I'm not going all the way. We want that onion to remain whole while we are cutting it. So first this side, like this, and here. You can do another one like this if you want. You can see we dice the onion nice. Like this. Like that. Then we are when we when we will finish the 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 onion, we're going to put the olives. Then we are going to cut the pepper goat cheese and unpasteurized you will see we will dice some because we are going to use some of the goat cheese on top of the pepper so that will melt and it will make that nice taste on top of it it will make that nice Design too. Like this. Like this. We, I, I cut that one through it all the way, but don't worry about it. We will arrange it another way. We will find another way. Like this. Like that, and then we are going to put them with the uh, with the garlic. Here we have the garlic. As you can see, we are going to put the onion. With the garlic, my boys. So 
So now we will start by by even putting the the olives like this. So we're gonna leave the chopping board here because we're gonna need it to chop the the goat cheese. And we are going to start by mixing the ingredients. For now, we have only the garlic, the onion, and the olives. Actually, we will start opening the tuna now. So now, my boys, as you can see, we are preparing the tuna. We're gonna make six without without the oil and six with with the oil so it will not come too much oily too much juicy i'm gonna drain the oil from six of them and the other six we are going to put it with oil. If there's my cat right now, it will go bananas for this. So. There's not much oil, my boys, but if we put the 12 cans with that oil, it will not come that good. So, six with the oil and six without oil. We will see, maybe we need less. A minute, I'm going to do that for it. So, we're going to start by opening those cans. Put them right here. Three more to go without the oil. Without the oil. There's some oil left up behind, but you can remove all the oil. Eh? Now, the oil that we moved from the tuna, we are not going to throw that away. We are going to leave it to put it with the gravy, my boys, that we are going to make for the peppers. So those were six guys. We are going to mix them up. Oh, no. We need a bit more, my boys. We need a bit more. We need more, my boys. We need more. Yeah, we need more for sure. 
but this time we are going to put with 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 the oil so we are going to see maybe we will put four more we will see and this time we will put them with the oil as you can see so it will they will take that taste boys so this one that's two From this one, okay. From this. This is our detailed one with the oil. Let's see, my boys. Let's see. Let's mix everything up. Don't forget, we still have the the pesto that we are going to put now, and then at the end we are going to put the the goat cheese. We need more. We need more. That's too much. We need we need two more. Okay, let's put two more. We're going to leave one. Let's put just two more of tuna. Now it's time to pour our pesto after this. Away because they are danger. As you can see, we're gonna mix them like this. So yeah, that's enough now. Now it's time to put our pesto. So now, as you can see, we are going to mix our pesto. My voice. The basil, the mint, the capers, the marjoram, the parsley. And we put some olive oil to with them. everything up and now it's time to put the goat cheese and pasteurized we are going to cut it and we'll show you how first let's mix everything well here yeah. Let's make everything well so it will come. The pesto will go everywhere in this recipe. Like this. Now it's time to cut our unpasteurized goat cheese. Pepper goat cheese. So now my boys we are going to start by cutting the goat and pasteurized pepper cheese. Oh my voice. My voice. And now we are going to cut it like this. Then like this. 
and we are going to put it here my boys with the rest of the recipe my boys so we're going to cut it like this my boys my cat is going crazy because she's smelling that tuna My boys. We're gonna continue cutting the goat cheese and pasteurized like this. As we had a sip of wine, we are going to continue by cutting the goat the goat pepper and pasteurized cheese Jibaina and Maltese. Unpasteurized We are going to continue some some of them like that we had about About 12 but one of them I ate it. I ate one of them and the other one I left it to my dad so we have 10 left my boys and now now we are going to leave some of it some of the goat cheese for last on top So we have six, so we are going to wake that out soon. As you can see, like that. And I'm gonna grab it and put it here. My boys, now we're gonna leave, we're gonna cut uh, two more and one, two, three, four, five. And those five, we are going to leave them for top of the peppers, my boys, because we are going to put, I'm going to show you how, my boy, I'm going to cover it up with the, with this, it will come great, it will come awesome. Like that, like that, then we are going to mix them up, very good, like this, so the, the goat cheese will go everywhere. My boys, let's cut the last one. Learn this. Let's cut the last one like this. Then the rest. We are going to leave them. Maybe we will put them on top of of the peppers, my boys. So those were the goat cheese and pasteurized pepper, my boys, peppered ones.
cheeselets. So now it's time to start by filling those peppers. We are going to clean those peppers, my boys. We are going to cut them from here. We are going to cut them like this from here. Then we are going to clean them up. And then after that, we are going to, after we fill them, we are going to cover them up again with the top and put them in the pan. So now we are going to start by starting by cutting those peppers. Let's clear this away. Then we are going to start by by cutting those like this, like this, as you can see. This one we are going to clean. My boys clean it up. That's just a sec, my boys. Just a sec. I'm gonna clean. Clean it up. As you can see. Like this. Then you go into you, you're going to wash it. We're going to wash it and fill them up. And then when we were going to fill them up, we are going to put half of the goat pepper and pasteurized cheese led on top and we are going to cover it up again like this so now it's time to continue with the with those things like this like this we are going to throw away those like that then we are, it's then after we are done, we are going to wash our peppers. My boys, this one we're gonna leave it like that. Let, let's try. We're gonna leave it like that. We're gonna leave them like that. So we will cover them up. They will come nice, my boys. I didn't see this recipe elsewhere. I invent this recipe by my mind. I just dreamed about this recipe. I woke up and I made it. So, oh my boys! So, those are the four peppers for now. We are going to wash them and fill them up with this nice, tasty ingredients my boys so let's do this let's clean the stuff away even from this my boys because this some, uh, some we are even we are going to wash those my boys all right we are going to wash everything here okay we are going to wash everything. My boys. We are going to do like this. Like that, this to drop them away. Now it's time to wash everything up. Now we're going to wash everything up and we will be back with you to do the filling. So now my boys, as you can see, we are going to fill those peppers. As you can see, we're gonna fill them with this spoon, with a small spoon, not this. We're gonna remove this from there. We're going to bring that spoon. And fill up those things, those peppers. Like this. And even if we don't fill them up with all those the ingredients, my boys, my wife is going bananas like the cat for this recipe even if we don't fill 
all those peppers with all the ingredients we are going to make some pasta if there is anything left so this is she's going bananas my boys so this is the pepper layer this is the pepper full then after we are going to finish all we are going to cut some cheese legs and we are going to put them on top to make that nice beautiful taste so we are going to keep preparing filling my boys our peppers our peppers like this then on top we are going to make the cheese led the, uh, the go and pasteurized goat pepper cheese led my boys the best you can ever have my boys and with some red wine or some whiskey it will come more delicious my boys more delicious as you can see, oh, here we go. We're going to remove some because we are going to make the cheese lens on top. Like this. Here we have already three filled, as you can see. We're gonna continue by filling those peppers. My boys, my wife is going more crazy than the cat. For this recipe, because she never tried it. So it's her first time. So, we're gonna do like that, as you can see, because on top we are going to make the cheese that as I told you earlier. So, now, if there will be anything left, I think there will be a lot left because I am a savage. Tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, on Sunday or on Saturday, we will do the pasta with all those ingredients left because tomorrow I'm going to do bull testicles again deep fry with doritos but this time we are going to make the perfect recipe my boys there's a lot left my boys there's a lot left there's a lot left a lot a lot and on saturday we are going to make ourselves a nice pasta with those ingredients so the ingredients that there are left in this bowl they are onion garlic onion garlic black olives green olives basil mint parsley marjoram my boys and unpasteurized cheese let goat pepper cheese that so those are the the peppers filled with you see how much left we have we have a lot left my wife is going bananas again so as you can see right now we're going to like this then We are going now, as you can see, those are the pepper, six pepper, two each, for me, for my daughter and for my wife. So now it's time to cut the cheese, let's, like this, and let's see what we are, how we are going to work it out. We are going to work it out like this, like this, as you can see. On top of that, like this, like that, 
like that. Then another one. Hashtag another one, DJ Khaled. One, two, three. That's it. So now it's time to put our gravy and let them cook. My boys, for some time. So now we're going to grab ourselves. Ourselves a glass. And let's make our home, home, made gravy as you can see my boys for the gravy we are going to make half of this pan with 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 water one of with water and then we are going to make some gravy we are going to make the oil the oil that we removed from the tuna earlier. Here it is. We are going to remove to do. And some olive oil. And balsamic vinegar, my boys. Some olive oil. And on top of it, I'm going to put some balsamic vinegar, oh, some olive oil like this. Like this. And some balsamic vinegar. On top, my boys, like this. Then we are going to cover them up, my boys. So we are going to cover them up, like this. And we are going to put them on the on low flame for 45 minutes my boys until then we are going to prepare ourselves some nice potatoes to do mashed potatoes to do some mashed potatoes as you can see here you have all the peppers covered up now we are going to put them on Boys, as you can see, follow me. As you can see, we are not going to make a lot of, lot of gravy like this. We are going to cover them up and remove this away like this, like that, and on low flame. So, here we have six. Sorry, my boys, for this. So we have here, we have six colored peppers filled, my boys. So now we're going to leave them like that for about 45 minutes on low flame. On low flame. Until then, we are going to prepare ourselves some mashed potatoes. You already know how you're going to make some mashed potatoes. When we will be done, I'm going to show you how we will do it because I'm going to do it a bit different, my boys. So now, my boys, as you can see, we are going to start by doing the mashed potatoes, but not just mashed potatoes. We are going to, my boys, make something different. We are going to make something different. Then mashed potatoes. Mm. 
I'm sorry, my boys, for the vape that is coming through the camera lens. But Mesh potatoes like this mesh potato then we are going to make it in a spoon and then in the convection oven for the extra coloring and extra taste I'm going to show you how this is the mesh potato that powder has been leaving. We are going to mix it up. We even need more butter for that, my boys. But we are going to need more butter, my boys. More butter like that, and then some milk. Then some milk, we're going to take out some milk. We are going to continue by rubbing the butter inside of the mashed potatoes. Like this, then we're going to bring some milk, some milk, and then That's it, and then we're gonna make them like that, and then in the convection oven, so it will make that nice design in the plate, my boys. We're going to continue by crushing the potato. Now that the mosh potato is done, we're going to wait for the peppers. to be done, my boys, also, so this is the mashed potatoes, like this. Now, my boys, we are going to make our mashed potatoes, like this. As you can see, my boys, we're gonna make it like this, then like this, and then in the convection oven, so they will take that nice color, coloring, brownish coloring, we still have the color prepared, my boys. So we are going to make like this. Then when it's done, we are going to make get them in the convection. We are going to put them in the convection oven. Put them in the 
description of him. As you can see, like this. And then we are going to put them in the convection oven when the peppers will be almost done. As you can see, the peppers, they are getting... Oh my boys, would you look at that? Now it's been about an hour and a half. We're gonna leave them for about an hour, more. Like two hours, we're gonna open it up and see. Oh, would you look at that, how it's going to come. Like this. And then we're gonna leave it like that. Then I'm going to put those for about a few minutes in the convection oven to take that brownish coloring, brownish coloring style. So as you can see my boys, here are the final results of the colored peppers. And this is the filled pepper. The red fill pepper, Ooh, would you look at that? The potato, my boys. So, yeah, those were the final results. As you can see, the rest of the potatoes are there. Also, the rest of the peppers are here. So, yeah. So, those were. The final results of the field of the field colored papers. It's your boy X Max card here. I'm out. Bye. Ten David to entry team. Your mission's complete. Good job. Head back to talk.